Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys know, my obsession for mattes is going on a distinct level. In fact, I personally feel that highlighters should also be matte. So today's video is going to be all about this perfect looking matte makeup look with a little bit of highlighter all over and uh, if you people want to know how I got this makeup look on then please do keep on watching. Also if you people like this makeup look do consider subscribing for more such interesting video and like the video to, to let me know that uh, you people loved it. Let's get started. I'm starting off with prepping my skin for which I am using my rose water first. You people must have already seen my skincare routine. If you haven't, I'll link it in the description box for you all. So do go ahead and check it out. It's just really working very well for me at the moment. Went ahead with the moisturizer, which is my favorite. Then went ahead with my aloe vera gel. This is just the Patanjali aloe vera gel and the moisturizer which was Neutrogena one. I use the combination skin one because I have combination skin. So I'm just massaging the gel onto my face and then switching over to foundation. I'm taking a combination of NYX matte but not flat foundation and mixing it up with the Maybelline Fit Me one. Both of them are like full coverage foundations so it is just giving me life or it is just giving me that shabam sort of a coverage that I did wanted and which is like matte to a distinct level. Coming up to the concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now you guys know me, I even do have a glossy sort of a concealer as well, but I did want it to go all matte, like all over matte. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this concealer and I'm just applying it onto the under eye area of mine because I'll be doing the powder highlighting stuff. I'm not going to go crazy with my cream highlighting because it's summers. It's just that's the way I like it. Switching over to the powder, I am using the Chambord Shea Delight Powder. I'm setting my entire face with the help of this powder. I am in love with it. Taking uh, the matte wood shade from the Balm Meat Matte Nude Palette, I'm just going to go ahead and groom my brows. Now, summers do affect each and every single thing. Then why not the brow grooming routine as well? Even though I'm obsessed with powder products when it comes up to grooming up my brows, but still, when it comes up to summers, I am more into powder products. So I'm just going ahead and grooming my brows with the help of the same and uh, here my brows are finished. I'm taking the Pro Strobe palette from Freedom and I'm taking the banana shade from the same palette and I'm going to set my under eye area with the help of it. It's just going to uh, set the concealer in place as well as it is going to just highlight my face to a distinct level if that makes any sort of a sense. So just highlighting around my mouth, around the T-zone of mine and just a little bit under where my contour would be just to keep, give it that clean and clean and crisp finish then taking the lightest contouring shade from uh, the same palette I'm just going to contour or sculpt my cheeks as you guys can see me doing right over here so just sculpting the cheeks and just going ahead with a smaller brush by faces and I'm just going to go ahead and groom my nose taking this bobby pink shade from uh, the Maybelline New York's uh, Face Studio Palette. I'm just going to apply it onto the apples of the cheeks. I know it looks a little bit too much on the pan, but on the cheeks it translates really very beautiful and it doesn't clash with my skin tone. Taking the highlighter from the same Maybelline palette, I'm just going to highlight the usual areas of my face. Now, even though I'm obsessed with mattes, but highlighters are supposed to be shimmery or blingy or something like that only. So here I'm just going to go ahead and give myself that a little bit of a shine and a glow from within sort of a look. So just highlighting my optical bone, bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow and chin. Switching over to my lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick, lipstick in the shade Heartbreaker. I know a few of you are asking me to go ahead and review this but trust me guys there are gazillion shades or a gazillion reviews available about this lipstick you don't need me to review it even then if you people want me to say something about it this is one of the most comfortable formulas i have used till date and it is cheaper than the siate london liquid lipstick that i do use and they are of no use in front of this lipstick because it just feels like if huda beauty would have launched this earlier i wouldn't have invested in the siate london one this is the level of my liking now I'm switching over to my eyes, coming a little bit closer and I'm showing you guys, I'm setting my eyelids with the help of the matte Lombard shade and then, then taking the matte Rosen shade. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it onto the crease. Here I'm just creating a rough S onto my crease area. 
it just gives me a distinct level of dimension in terms of my eye makeup and that's what I was talking about stepping up the eye makeup game taking the same foundation uh, concealer the fit me one I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my crease with the help of the same concealer now this is a step that you want to do very 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 carefully guys like literally you have to be really very careful the stuff can make or break your makeup game eye makeup game so just go ahead be careful it just requires a little bit of practice and everything will start falling into place so just don't worry do go ahead and try it out so just going ahead and cutting my crease as you guys can see me doing right over here and then I'm just going to take the gel eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal gel eyeliner, the super liner gel intensa. I am simply amazed, fascinated and mesmerized with, the gel, with this gel eyeliner because it is like the same as the day I did purchased it. This smoking out thing, this smudging thing or the actual liner application thing. It's just the same. Nothing has changed in it. It hasn't dried up. It's just amazing guys. This is one of the most amazing eyeliners I've used till date in my life so just going ahead and grooming my outer V as you guys can see in an inverted eye shape or in a tilted triangular shape removing the tape that was underneath my eye trying to remove the tape underneath my eye and then taking the smaller faces brush I'm just gonna blend the black with the brown shade to give it a you know merged in look now I am taking the Ciate London's uh, eyeshadow this is in the shade, I guess, Rose and Sand or something like that. This was the name only, I guess. I'm taking it with the help of a paddle brush. Even though it is a loose pigment, it just doesn't fall out onto the face, which is something that I love about this pigment. I am more over in love with this pigment rather than the liquid lipstick that I do seldomly use from Seattle, London. Now I'm taking the same highlighter from the Maybelline palette and I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes to give them a uh, open up look and highlighting the brow bone of mine as well with no excess product to give them a lift then taking the eyeliner the same super liner gel intensa i'm gonna line my eye with the help of uh, the l'oreal uh, liner and uh, the liner brush is from real techniques this is one of the most amazing eyeliner brush i have used till a date and uh, i'm just extending it a little bit onto the inner corner as well to give it that a little bit of arabic connected sort of a look and then i'm just going to go ahead and apply it onto my lower lash lines as well to give it a kajal applied look if that makes any sort of a sense now i'm taking the mascara i'm taking the maybelline high curl hyper curl uh, lash super curled lashes mascara very very long name this is the paul c's one and uh, i am using onto the top and bottom lashes and this is the finished look you guys i hope you all have enjoyed it and if you people did don't forget to give this video a massive massive thumbs up and do consider subscribing as well i'll see you guys in my next one till then just stay blessed bye bye